Hello everyone, Segmulator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. I apparently have mail. Uh, from Grace. Commander Shepard, just want to say how indebted I am to you, not just for saving my life, but uh, for giving me a greater sense of purpose. After our ordeal securing the array base on uh, Onterum, I now have something uh, more than my technical expertise to offer. You're welcome. Housewarming. Shepard, next time we're on the Citadel, I'd love to come by. No rush, but it's nice to have a place, uh, a place there that you can call home. Shepard, would love to see it. Can't be any worse than that pokey little uh, captain's cabin on the Normandy. Invite me over sometime. I'm in the area. Hey, next time... Uh, you're in that sweet new apartment with time to kill. Give me a call. Got something I'd like to show you. Uh, Commander, if you'd like to meet up for lunch, I'll be there in the Citadel, area, Citadel Arcade area. Hopefully see you there. Garrus, Shepard. When you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet up at the Silver Coast Casino. Upper floor. Hopefully no dead arms dealers this time. Your assistance. Commander, I have received an interesting proposal that I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino at the far end of what these primitives call the Silver Run, the Silver Sun Strip, although it isn't made of silver or near a sun. Stupid primitives. Uh, dear Commander Shepard, we here at Max Arsenal, huge fans of yours. We can, uh, oh, this is the... yeah, okay. Uh, well, let's go buy these party supplies first. So we're all ready. <coughs> oh, God, I hate you just kicking my ass. It sucks. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. Uh, okay, good. All right, that's all those bought. I see. Right. Uh, number eight. Go oh, there, lads. Good luck and good evening. Well, thank you. Okay. What have I just done? Fennec, hit the comms. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Hirsch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that will alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? Take a walk, guys. 
<laughs> I can explain. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? No. No problem at all. <laughs> Alright then. Wasn't intending to do that. But good to see Kasumi again. No hustlers that way to Amos. Fair warning. Sure, whatever. Where am I going? Alright, let's head upstairs. Get these party supplies. There we go. Well, as we're here, wait for Garrus. Garrus in civilian gear, that's weird. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? Oh, and... Garrus. Hmm. Oh, this is painful. Oh, she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but... decent. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you. I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Oh my Actually, god, I Garrus! I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. Dude, that was painful. <laughs> I'm not exactly an expert, but I know your game is bad. Jesus, Garrus. All right, we've got a few people to meet out here. Couple in the arcade. All right. Let's uh, pop over across the way. Hang out with Trainer and Zaid. Oh, Javik's here. All right, Javik, what's your issue? Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? 
I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Protean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Road. <laughs> <laughs> you die now! Not yet. That line comes later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. No <laughs> like <laughs> you. Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Protean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign's half-brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback! Cue the stunt double! <laughs> your line! Say your line! Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the counselor's name on it. Ah, uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. <laughs> May we go now, Commander? <laughs> Strike the sound. Hellcasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Jesus. Well, that was a thing that happened. Alright, let's go see Trainer and Zaid.
All right, trainer, what you got in store for us? Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. Roger that. <laughs> Go on, trainer. Incentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So, job is playing games mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations yes specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus we're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman but she just lost her last frigate ah! traded her last frigate actually for your homeworld Suck it. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. Nice. All right. Now, where's Zaid? There he is. You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Look simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? <laughs> Any credit, Shepard. Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kids game? You really want one of those plushy toys. God damn right I do. <laughs> okay then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's got to use his manners once in a while. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Easy. Easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? 
I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. <laughs> All right. Here you go, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, Dave. We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? But this time, you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. Excellent stuff. Great prizes. You could win. Uh, purple large prize. Blue medium. All right. What will you win? All right, got a green one. Damn it. Back to the apartment then. Then we can invite some people over. Thank you. Jesus. Excuse me. You have received a new message. Go there, Glyph. Right, let's do some upgrading. Believe that. Seating. I'll leave that one. And last one. There we go. And invitations? No. Uh, <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Shepard, I thought it might be nice to spend some time away from the Normandy. I don't have anything in particular in mind. Perhaps we can meet your apartment aside from there. As part of my education, I think it would be appropriate uh, if you and I participated in rituals found in all human cultures. Reply and we can be at the new apartment. Shepard, now that we've got a little downtime on the Citadel, I wanted to share something with you. Um, I'm taking the shuttle down to Silverstone Strip. Meet me there. Cool. Uh, okay, Edie, what do you want to do? <coughs> oh, God damn it. 
I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. <coughs> you don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent them. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Uh, what? <laughs> are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the ring stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. <laughs> Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Oh, that was nice. All right, who's next? Uh, James. Oh, this is going to be a long one. But I will not be beaten, James. Hey, Loco. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. Nice view, but this place, it's just so not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. Hey, is it true you and Tally are, uh, you know... Together? Yeah. Why? How do you two... I mean, is she... You know... Under that suit, do Quarians have... Have... Never mind. I don't really want to know. <laughs> so did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James.
This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. What the hell? No way. Here we go. You've been holding out on me. Oh, man. <coughs> this is sweet. <coughs> Come on. Let me just use it for a bit. <coughs> <laughs> this is high quality stuff. <coughs> Maybe I could, you know, <laughs> come here for my workout. <clears throat> what do you think? All right, this is going to take a while. I'll skip this for the purpose of uh, the edit. You want some pointers? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> What eighty three? Holy hell, you did it! I, I don't know what to say. How you feeling? Like I could do another one hundred and eighty three. Whatever you say, loco. <laughs> Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry. I won't. Hell yeah! You gonna watch or are you gonna join in? <laughs> I've just done 183 pull-ups. I love this. You get to do this all the time. Just let me have some fun. <laughs> all right, Vega, enjoy. I'm gonna invite someone else up. All right, who's next? Liara. Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose... how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis? I am a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? There we go. Thanks, Cliff. Right, James is also gone. Alright, who's next? Probably Miranda.
And then we'll probably finish up with Tally. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. <laughs> I'll fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Stop myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. <laughs> oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... a shame. Shepard, you didn't. <laughs> I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Hell yeah. All right. Let's invite Tally up next. Tally, my love. How are you? Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line from Fleet and Flotilla? Shall I and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that. Did. You've never... How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. But July, we can never be together. I have my duty, and you have your people. Not tonight. Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You watch this a lot? With the lovers from two different worlds? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover, we memorized the lyrics from the musical. Oh, we can activate sing-along mode. Let the moon shining light hide two lovers with its rays. The white note. Unmasked, I 
Oh, Telly. How are you this cute, exactly? I had no idea you were so into this. This vid FTL jumped me into puberty. And who doesn't love a good cross-species romance? I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. I already am. Works for me. <laughs> Hell yeah! Right, next. I'll give me some more messages, maybe. Oh, wrong one. No. Oh no! <coughs> oh, excuse me. Not going to worry about that just yet. Oh yeah, Cortez. Let's see what Steve wants. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Show me. See? It doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. Excellent stuff. Alright, let's head back to the apartment now. This is pretty much what we're going to be doing before the final mission. Hanging out with our crew and having a good time. You have received a new message. Excellent. Brain check. Uh, thanks for sticking around to watch me go head to head with Tasusa. Sorry again for messing up our lunch plans. Love to get a rain check. Let me know when, whenever you're free and I'll come by. You know what, Shepard? You know what you need, Shepard? You need a night where you just get to hang out and try to be normal for a few hours. Let's get something to eat. After that, we could go down to the strip or whatever you want. Let me know. The Royal Service. Commander. I was somewhat surprised to receive a comm call from the council. They would like to hold what humans call a memorial service. Where it, where it is held does not matter so much as who attends. I would like you to be there 
as well as those people on the Normandy who knew my father. I understand that human services people speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct this part as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I am somewhat nervous. I might recall, I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of everyone. Thank you. This would mean a great deal to me. Of course, Collier. Come on, Shepard. You're... <coughs> God damn it. Commander Shepard, your presence has been requested concerning an incident involving a Krogan identified as Grunt. God damn it. Please report to the CSEC officer on patrol in the Silver Sun Strip for additional details. Shepard, so the Normandy's in dry dock seems like the perfect chance to hang out and find some trouble. Meet me, uh, meet me outside the arcade on the main level if you're game. Absolutely. Uh, Caden, what do you want? <coughs> Knock it off. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What do we have? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. If you need luck to cook us dinner, we're screwed. Screwed? Oh, you hurt me, Shepard. Relax. It's gonna be great. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> so, remember how I saved the Citadel? And then, well, you weren't there. I survived a suicide mission? All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. <laughs> Can it at least be quick and painless? Funny. You think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. Huh. Do we have hot sauce? <laughs> Bit of banter. That was great. Still waiting for the botulism to kick in. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Actually, it was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm an enigma. I've got skills. I mean, for example, fist fight, me and James, I'd, I'd win, right? <laughs> what if I fought dirty? <laughs> oh, I forgot how much I love these moments. Gonna push it forward a bit because I'm gonna have to cut out a lot from the vague a bit. That goes on for fucking ever. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Say our goodbye, a proper goodbyes to Thane. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through war-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything. 
Even every mistake he made. If I do that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... I was little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. Still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorant has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Good luck, Collier. All right, let's have a look at these messages. Keep in 
touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. God damn it. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shape of her eyes. Shrill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Damn. All right. Let's quickly uh, invite Trainer up, and then we'll end this episode here. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. Do you have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill, trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. Hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one. Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste and adjustable massage ones. <laughs> Anderson, you dog. All right. And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This will be a Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.